Okay, in this video, which There's ends in a very, down. very you, sad way, um, I'm going to be showing dwarf gameplay, Baden, with the two-handed hammer. So, some basics on the two-handed hammer. Um, it's both its left clicks and its charge attacks, so its light and its charge attacks have armor penetration. I'm going to chain some charge attacks here, just to show you how fast you can do it. Now, the light attacks are just kind of an overhead smash, and they are single target only. Good for getting headshots on things like storm vermin, and maybe killing single rats if you don't miss. Um, but generally, you're going to be using the charge attacks of this weapon. And you can kind of see why. The charge attacks do a straight right to left or left to right swing, so it's very good for clearing whatever's in front of you. Um, no, nothing like swinging over the tops of the enemy's heads like you do two handed swords sometimes, especially on the soldier. But, another nice thing here, if you saw that, so he's in the middle of his attack animation, and I was able to stagger the storm woman with my charge attack. Now, the shield, when you shield bash, for instance, does not interrupt a charge animation, so that is another advantage of a two-handed hammer. Disadvantage compared to the shield is you can't do the charge attacks quite as fast. Kill that. Um, what else, what else, what else? Yeah, I mean, those are the basics of the two-handed hammer. Um, I will pipe in, pipe up again when uh, it's time for something to happen here. Yeah. Alright, so you saw me bring up my block briefly there. What I was doing that for was I wasn't sure if there was an enemy behind me, and rather than turning and looking at the same time as I'm getting stabbed, I blocked. You block in 360 degrees and block behind you, so if you're not sure, just hit your right mouse button. Right there, got poked in the ass. Go back to swinging this thing around. Basically, every time you swing the hammer, you clear zones. Now, another thing that's a little bit hard to see, and there you go, you saw it there, was that when you do your charge attack, you actually dash forward a little bit. Same with the light attack that I just did there on that one. Extra bombs, so I might as well hawk that. Bam, kill a whole bunch of vermin, whatever. Oop, didn't block in time. And these bots pick up their health packs. Alright, but you're going to want to get good at using that dash, so right there I wouldn't have been able to do a charge attack before he hit me probably, that's why I blocked and pushed first. But uh, in general you want to hold S or walk backwards while you're charging and then hold W or forwards when you release the swing so that you can get as much different distance and stay as safe as possible while doing it. See they're coming, so I caught my strength pot and get ready to bomb, but I whiff this bomb. They're all way too high. And now the bots are all fighting little rats, so if I was on a weapon, if I had a weapon that wasn't as good at dealing with storm vermin as this, I'd be in trouble. But you see, you walk backwards while you're charging, you walk forwards, and it's time to smack them. And if you're fighting just one, you can reliably just stagger them, but as you can see there, there was three, so I had to back off. Otherwise, I would have just staggered a single storm vermin, and the other two would have hit me and taken most of my life. Basically, I just three on one, three storm vermin in melee range, and only getting hit once at the start because I'm a nub and didn't block it. I 
think up here is shown right there should a little bit. You can actually do a left click really quick right after you do a swing to do kind of a double attack, which is nice for getting a little burst damage. Bat, bat, bat. Storm Vermin dead. Through this doorway. Pop him on the head. Blocked because that animation was coming in and I wasn't going to swim before it finished. Pop. Popping heads. More sniping. Okay. Here's to hit him in the foot at least. I got a little damage in the storm on See, like even when you're fighting Storm Room, you can actually kind of clear some of the little rats as you swing through them with your hammer to, co to connect with the Storm Room, so that's nice. Not quite as good as the shield, which just hits everything in front of you, but it does a lot more damage and it guarantees stagger on the Storm Room, and so half of one, six in the other. It's just slower, so you got to get used to the cadence of it, and you have to know when to bring up your block. Decide to just kind of go storm room, of course, because that is priority. There's kind of the headshots on the left clicks. They do good damage, get headshots, they're nice for things like storm room. Now, the left clicks I actually don't. I'd have to verify this, but I think the damage is actually comparable on your left clicks and your charge attack. The main difference is the, not only the swing pattern, but the number of targets you can hit. Um, so when you're trying to just DPS an objective like this, straight left clicks are probably better than charge attacks. I'm not certain. Now, I, I'll talk about animation canceling when we get up to a chain where I try it. <coughs> You can actually de increase the DPS on the regular left clicks, your light attacks, by animation canceling. You do your attack and then you quickly switch to your ranged weapon and then quickly back to your melee weapon. And you can do that faster than the animation to actually ready your weapon again so that you can attack a second time. So I'll try and show it off here. I think on this one. Right there, see I'm switching, I'm trying to attack a little bit faster and then I screw it up and actually shoot around out of the chamber which is no good. But that's kind of what I was talking about. <coughs> I'm not practiced at doing that so I probably wasn't doing it as good as somebody who either has a macro for it or who is just practiced at doing it. You can see, if you get into melee range with specials and you got this two-handed hammer, it actually does pretty good work. The reason I'm pausing there is because I heard the bots call out a rattling gun and I know that they go crazy for rattling gunners. They really want the rattlings dead. So whenever you hear a bot call out rattling gun, watch them <coughs> and follow them because they will run to the beginning of the goddamn level <laughs> to try and kill them. Bot was stuck, couldn't decide whether to sit there and actually was probably trying to block that rat, but instead he was just getting stabbed by it because it was stuck on the ladder, so AI for the win again. This is 
But as you can see, you can still complete nightmare maps with bots. Certain maps are easier than other ones, but this is the one that I like to farm on Nightmare Solo. up there. Should have released my charge attack sooner. I would have staggered him out of that attack. Come on, over here. Portion here. Thread the needle there. And you see why I rage at the end of this though. So getting loot dice on this map is kind of rare because there's not that many chests and sack rats aren't that common and often when you see a sack rat it's running away from you to somewhere where you can't get to them. So playing this on Nightmare you know you roll a zero you can get a green, you roll like three or up you usually get a blue so you get a decent supply of greens and blues from doing this in a short amount of time. When you get loot dice though you have a higher chance of maybe getting into a legendary. So when you see a sack rat, you get all excited. That's my foreshadowing as to what happens at the end of this. Warren, once again, just clearing the packs. I think I get smacked again, yeah, because there's enemies behind me, and fortunately, with bots, we were all concentrating our fire in the same direction. Two storm vermin, one of them kind of bugs out the air there, but bonk, bonk. I know he's weak enough to take out with a body shot, and then that one finished him off. Now we find the rattling gunners that the bots have been calling out. There they are. There's one, and even two. I'm feeling pretty happy about that. I'm like, okay, good. That's why the bots didn't run off. That's good. Oh shit, there's a sack rat. Let's kill it. Oh, rage. Rage.